In this chapter, you will be introduced to ARCHICAD's Teamwork built-in messaging function, which can increase productivity and help reduce the risk of design problems. Teamwork messaging allows users to instantly communicate, manage workspaces and tasks in the context of the ARCHICAD model. The messaging functions are integrated with the ARCHICAD project. They are tied to elements and actions within the project so that many messaging functions are automated, reducing the amount of user-initiated communications needed. Moreover, the possible actions are available right from the message itself, making communication smooth and easy. In addition, you can communicate with users who are not online at the moment. They'll receive their messages the next time they go online. Standard text messages can be sent to individual users or to the entire team. The messages will automatically pop up on the recipient's screen. Let's see an example. The lead architect would like to see how the project is developing. Therefore, he joins the project. In a text message, he will request Architect 2 to start furnishing the offices. Close the project of Architect 1. Join the project in the name of the lead architect. Activate the file. Open. Open or join Teamwork Project command. Select Lead Architect from the list of users. Select the Teamwork Training Project from the list and click Join to proceed. Checkmark the Do Not Show This Dialog Next Time option on the Join Project dialog and click OK. Notice that Lead Architect appears in the Users list in the Teamwork palette. Let's select a light green background for the plan view for easier identification. Display the grids and background dialog by activating the view, grid and editing plane options menu command. Click the background color field and display color sliders panel. Select the RGB sliders option and enter 238 for the red value, 255 for the green value, and 241 for the blue value field. Click OK twice to activate the changes. Select Architect 2 from the Users list of the Teamwork palette. Click the Send Message icon. Alternatively, you can select the New Message command from the Teamwork menu. Write a message in the upcoming New Message dialog. Enter the following message. Please create the furniture layout for the offices. Click Send to send this message for Architect 2. Switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of Architect 2 and notice that the message appeared instantly on the screen and it's also listed in the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette. Double-click on the message in the Messages panel to open its own dialog window. Click on the Reply Message icon to bring up the Answer Message dialog in which you can compose the message for the lead architect. Enter All Right for the answer. Click Send to send it back to the lead architect. Close the Received Message dialog. Switch back to the ARCHICAD workspace of the Lead Architect and make sure that the Messages panel is open at the lower part of the Teamwork panel to see the answer. Click on the message with the right mouse button to bring up the context menu and notice various message actions. Click the Move to Completed option to move the message into the completed folder. The content of the completed folder can be viewed by clicking on its icon in the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette. In this folder, you have the option of deleting outdated messages by selecting them and clicking on the icon. Select all messages in the completed folder and click the delete icon to delete these. In Teamwork, messages can be attached to model elements allowing the recipient to easily find the corresponding model elements just by clicking on the Show Element button inside the message. This can be extremely useful if you're working on a project view where the transferred or requested elements are not visible.
To give this function a try, let's see Architect 2 furnish an office and ask the lead architect for review. Switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of Architect 2. Activate the Chapter 4.01 view in the view map of the navigator. Activate the arrow tool in the toolbox and apply the Select All command from the Edit menu to select all elements on the current story. Click on the Reserve button on the Teamwork palette to reserve the selected elements. Deselect the elements by clicking an empty area on the floor plan window. All the elements will be colored red, indicating that they belong to the workspace of Architect 2. Display the Favorites panel using the Window, Palettes, Favorites menu command. Double-click the Office Layout Wave object favorite. Place two Office Desk Layout objects as shown on the screen. Select both Office Layout objects, and then select the Ask for Review command from the Context menu. ARCHICAD will inform you that before asking for review of new or modified elements, you must send changes to the BIM server. Click the Send and Ask for Review to send the changes to the server. After sending the changes, a new message dialog will be displayed with the Review Selected Elements option selected at the bottom. Select Lead Architect in the To field. Compose a new message by entering Please Review the Office Layout. Click Send to send this message to the Lead Architect. Switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of the Lead Architect. Double-click on the newly arrived message in the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette to open this message in its own dialog box. Click Show Elements to continue. ARCHICAD will inform you that to show these elements in their current state, you must first download them from the BIM server. In other words, first you should receive the changes before you can look at the to-be-reviewed elements. Click the Receive and Show option to proceed. ARCHICAD will receive the changes, then zoom to and also select the two office layout objects created by Architect 2. To work on elements currently reserved by others, ARCHICAD Teamwork lets you request the elements from the other users. Let's see an example. Architect 1 would like to continue working on the internal partitions, but finds out that the ground floor partitions are reserved by Architect 2. Therefore, Architect 1 will request the elements from Architect 2 using the internal messaging function. Click the Send and Receive the Changes option in the Teamwork palette of the ARCHICAD workspace of the lead architect. The Pending PLN Backup dialog might be displayed on the screen depending on the project backup schedule settings of the BIM server. In this case, click Continue to proceed. Save the project and close it using the Save and Close Project option of the File menu. Open the Shared Teamwork Training Project as Architect 1 by selecting the corresponding option from the File, Open menu. ARCHICAD will prompt you to receive changes because the project has been updated since Architect 1 last worked on it. Click Receive Now to receive the changes. Select the Reserve Elements pop-up menu from the Teamwork palette to display the Reserve Elements dialog. Architect 1 would like to select all the walls from the interior partition layer on the ground floor. Let's create selection criterions in the Reserve Elements dialog to match this. Select Wall from the value list for element type. Add a new criteria with the corresponding button. Set layer as criteria name and select the interior partition for value. Finally, click Reserve Elements to reserve all walls on the interior partition layer of the ground floor. The last Reservation Results dialog will be displayed.
This is informing you that the reservation resulted in conflicting elements, which are currently in some other user's workspace. Select the ground floor project region in the list and click Show Conflict to highlight the conflicting elements. ARCHICAD will select the elements in question on the floor plan and zoom to them. Click the Request button to request these elements from others. Please note that the Request option is also available from the Teamwork palette. The Ownership Request dialog will be displayed, automatically addressed to Architect 2. An automated message is also prepared to request the elements. Set the High Priority option for this message. Finally, click the Request button to proceed. Click Close to close this dialog. Until the request is granted, the message will be filed in the My Pending Requests folder in the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette. Switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of Architect 2. Open the incoming element request message by double-clicking it in the Messages panel. Click the Show button in the Ownership Request dialog to select and show the elements in question. ARCHICAD will zoom in and select the partition walls. Finally, click Grant to allow Architect 1 to reserve the elements. Deselect the partition walls. Move the mouse over the partition walls and notice that these are reserved by Architect 1. Send and receive changes. Switch back to the ARCHICAD workspace of Architect 1. The granting message from Architect 2 has already arrived and the elements have automatically been transferred to the workspace of Architect 1. Click the new message to open its dialog. Click Move to Completed to move this message to the completed folder. Move the mouse over the partition walls and notice that these are editable now. Send and receive the changes and save the project. Close the project of Architect 1. If you wish to ask another user to work on specific elements, you can simply assign the elements in question to your colleague by using a teamwork message. Let's assume the lead architect accepts the office layout proposal by Architect 2. Next, he would like Architect 2 to make some modifications to the zone stamps in order to have a clear plan view where the zone stamps do not cover the furniture. Open the shared teamwork project of the lead architect. ARCHICAD informs you that this project has been modified on the BIM server since you last worked on it. Click Receive Now to receive the changes. The project opens for the lead architect. Activate the Chapter 4.02 view in the view map of the navigator. To assign an item to someone else, you must first reserve it for yourself. Select the zone stamp of Office 7 on the floor plan. Right-click on an empty area and select the Reserve Selected Elements option from the Context menu to reserve the previously selected zone. Hover the mouse over the reserved zone and notice that it's now editable. Activate the Assign Selected Elements 2 option from the Teamwork menu and select Architect 2 from the list. You can also apply the same command from the Context menu. The Assignment Message dialog appears, and the message is already addressed to Architect 2. Customize the automated message by entering the following text. Please modify the position of the zone stamp so it does not cover the furniture. Click Assign to assign the selected zone to Architect 2. Hover the mouse over the zone, and please note that it's now reserved by Architect 2. Switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of Architect 2. Open the new message by double-clicking on it. The assignment dialog appears. Click Show to zoom in and select the element in question. 
ARCHICAD will select the zone assigned by the lead architect and also zoom to it. Please note, the zone has automatically become part of the workspace of Architect 2 as a result of the assignment. Modify the position of the zone stamp. Use the options of the pet palette to reposition it. Use the Move to Completed option to move the assignment message to the completed folder. Send and receive the changes and save the project. The organized workflow of large offices requires a solution for assigning tasks to users. Teamwork messages can integrate the following tasks. Send changes. Receive changes. Release all. Leave project. Review selected elements. You have already seen how the review selected elements function works. Now let's see an example of the task message for receiving changes. Architect 2 has made major changes on the model, which may have also affected the work of other users. He would like the others to see his design input, so he will send his changes to the server and then create a message requesting them to receive changes. Select Architect 1 and Lead Architect from the list of the Users panel on the Teamwork palette. For multiple selection, use the command plus shift on Mac or the Control plus Shift key combination on Windows. Click the Message icon to display the New Message dialog. The New Message dialog appears addressed to Architect 1 in the Lead Architect. Compose your message by entering Please Receive Changes into the text field. Select Receive Changes from the pop-up menu at the bottom of the dialog. Finally, Click Send. Switch to the ARCHICAD workspace of the lead architect. The message has arrived. Open it by double-clicking on it or by clicking on the small triangle icon on the right of the message to bring up the pop-up menu. Then click Open Message. The Received Message dialog appears in which the Receive Changes command is embedded. By simply clicking on it from the Message dialog, you can receive the changes. After receiving the changes, the message is automatically moved to the completed folder. Save and also close the project of the lead architect. You may notice that Architect 1 was not online when sending him the message. The next time he goes online, the message will be delivered to him. Let's open the Teamwork project of Architect 1. The program instantly notifies Architect 1 that this project has been modified on the BIM server. Open the new message sent by Architect 2 and select the Receive Changes option from the Received Message dialog. In this chapter, you have seen how ARCHICAD fosters effective communication within the project team by providing superb messaging functionality in the model context. The reviewing and assigning functions contribute to effective project management by providing the principal or lead architect with an easy-to-use tool. The messages can be linked to ARCHICAD elements, which greatly helps in understanding the relevant communication issues. Special task messages can help in project coordination and management by allowing the sending of messages to multiple addressees with special teamwork functions such as Send Changes, Receive Changes, Release All, Leave Project, and Review Selected Elements.